Again, you know, I know I say this every week, but I did. I thought kids prepared well and, and coaches prepared. And, and so um, not done with that yet, but got to keep going. And uh, this is a good opportunity for this team to get on the road and play against a good Northwestern football team. So looking forward to it. What was uh, Ron just uh, during practice this week, the, the injury he's yeah. dealing with? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, so. Uh, you feel bad, you know, because I, I liked it where he was going, and he's got to get back healthy and, and still got more season to play. But yeah, that was it happened in practice. Do you think those guys in the back end are so accustomed to someone going down <laughs> and someone having to pop in right now that they won't worry about it? Yeah, I, I think there's, um, I think that kind of what you're asking is there is some truth to. You know, you've kind of been able to play and, and it hasn't been what he's taken. I think even just like for the safety that's next to him, geez, I know how he goes, the way we're communicating, been forced to deal with a lot of people. And, and so probably is some, some truth to that. Paul, how do you think Jack has handled being, you know, kind of on the sideline, knowing that he's probably not going to get in unless Alex were to get hurt? How has he handled it this Oh, way? I think he's been great. I think he's been energized by um, you know, we'll talk about it, uh, you know, even weekly, kind of where we're at with it. And, you know, I think he's been really purposeful in his work and preparation. Um, when he, you know, he's had gotten a lot of reps, you, you know, in, in practice. And, and the other guy that I give credit to is Danny Vandenboom. You know how he's handled it. And so, um, you know, what? part of it is when you see him, you know, in the film study and the, and the offs, off the field work, you know, engaged on the, the, when a guy started drifting, they say, okay, boy, he's handling it different. I think he's enjoying and appreciating the opportunity to, to truly keep learning. You know, last year, when you're a freshman, you're going through a lot of stuff and um, all of them are first. And so I think now he's been around, you know, kind of the, 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 the lap, taking one lap around the track. And, and so I, I've been pleased and, and appreciate the, Way he's handled it. I think, I think Jack could maybe uh, maybe get his opportunity later in the year here uh, to get some playing time. Yeah, I mean, you know, we are. I think with the new rule, you know, the the four game, the the conversation we had earlier was, you know, if we're just going to finish up a game, kind of like, you know, the two that Danny played in, you know, that wasn't necessarily the best use of that, and so. Um, He's he's preparing, we're preparing, and and uh, and you got the four games, and still hold on to that red shirt here. So feel good where he's at. Jim said yesterday that Olive had done individual mm-hmm. work. Is Olive, given his experience, in a position where you don't need to get him much work during the week, but he can still give you something? Maybe Saturday? Yeah, I think a guy like Olive and is kind of like we were able to do with Gink. Okay. You know, when it, I think age and. Um, kind of experience, not just age, I suppose, age and experience allows, okay, this is what it is. You know, like even the the walkthrough reps and the and what limited reps they get in practice, they don't have to see every okay. one and they still think and we think they can still contribute, you know, if they're healthy. And so um, I think it is different with an older experienced player than a, a new guy.